not used to driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself. Tell him we've got the delivery. I'll watch the truck. You got it, boss. One thing I want to miss to Bionic webbing. <laughs> Huh? I have eyes on Spider-Man! This <laughs> one time I fought somebody who was a real loser, and <laughs> all the armor in the world can't fix stupid. Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up padding my arrest stats. Understood, sir. <laughs> Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shift. I tell the boys. Task Force Cops. Working with crooks. No. Who could have possibly predicted that? Except everybody. Task Force? I don't... Did that hurt? Oh wait, I just remembered, I don't care. Work around here. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> that armor's too big an advantage. Armor might look cool, but it doesn't make them any faster. Crap! Assault on police officers! You've been busy, Spider-Man! Care to add more crimes to the list? And enjoy. You're a fool, Spider-Man. If you think those lackeys were meant to do anything more than delay you. There he is! That looks to me like the elite task force wasn't all that elite. I'm sure you're quite pleased with yourself. But the night is young. The armor's only as good as the guy inside. Those guys? Not good. Please, Spider-Man, beat up some more police officers. It'll make wonderful news footage.
before those guys get paid, it's too much. Ah, come on, what's a spider gonna do? He messes with me. He just gives us an excuse to bust him for assaulting an officer. Sit back. Give me robots any day. At least robots don't talk your ear off. I may have to make a great hand in this sordid matter. Elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. No offense to burritos. Well, if it isn't the kingpin! Catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tookus. Which must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare people. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix things, huh? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power. I live in the real world, Spider-Man. You are so fat. When you cut yourself shaving, marshmallow fluff comes out. You're so bad I could have you arrested for 10 pounds of crack. If I would come down here immediately, you expect me to fight it myself? People don't expect a crime free utopia. They want a world that makes sense. Where if you stay out of bad neighborhoods, you don't get hurt. They want order. You're wrong. People want justice. They want to know that if they work hard and play by the rules, the same rules everyone else has to follow, they'll be okay. <laughs> You're so bad, your high school yearbook photo was taken from a helicopter! No? Ooh, tough room. You're so bad, when you go camping, the bears hide their food! This is what happens when... You're so fat, you're the same height light. What do I pay you for? Get down here! What people want is men like me to make the hard choices. To make the wheels of the world turn so they can work their pathetic and their small lives and get a cookie at the end of the day. Knowing that someone strong is in I get it. You were a bullied fat kid, and now you want to get it. You want to start a software company? Be my guest. But when you start breaking out, you turn into the bully yourself, I'm gonna 
shut you down. Let's hear it! You hired Craven, Cletus Cassidy? You're so proud of it, tell me what you did! You are so fat! When you cut yourself shaving, marshmallow fluff comes out! photo was taken from a helicopter! No? You're so bad when you go camping, the bears hide their food! I'm not a fool, Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant. I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop! All units. Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!